Welcome to Life Kids. We are starting a brand new series and it's all about <laughs> time. That's right. It's all about time. In fact, our series is called Right on Time. So what's your favorite time of the day? Is it morning? Is it lunchtime? Maybe you're a night owl. I don't know what your favorite time of the day is, but I do know this. It's always time to do the right thing. That's our need to know for today. It's always time to do the right thing. So let's take some time and pray, and then we'll start today's lesson. Father God, we thank you so much for who you are. Thank you for your perfect timing. And we pray that you will help us to do the right thing every opportunity that we get. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. What's for lunch? Oh, oh. Did you catch that? Oh, oh. Waffle. Mmm, yum. Listen carefully to the memory verse. The Lord has told you what is good. He has told you what He wants from you. To do what is right to other people, love being kind to others, and live humbly obeying your God. Micah 6, 8. Guess the missing word. Do you ever have a hard time remembering all the stuff you have to do? Like making your bed, doing the dishes, hanging up your towel, or feeding your Chinese water dragon? I don't really like doing chores, and I would never remember to do them if it weren't for this Chore Monster app. When it gets down to it, the only reason I do these chores is I'm learning to do what is right to other people. When I take care of the things on this list, it feels good because it's the one small thing that I can do to help my mom and my Chinese water dragon. Helping other people is something this guy, 
Joseph got really good at. You see, Joseph had a series of unfortunate events. He was hated by his own brothers and sold as a slave in Egypt, where he worked for a man named Potiphar, a royal official to this guy named Pharaoh. Joseph worked hard by doing all the chores that Potiphar needed him to do. Now, I'm sure it wasn't easy for Joseph to keep doing the right thing for Potiphar. Can you imagine being forced to do something like being a slave and still working as hard as you could? It would definitely be too hard for me. But Joseph knew that God had put him in Potiphar's house for a reason. Because Joseph did the right thing, God made him successful in all that he did. Doing the right thing paid off because Potiphar noticed and put Joseph in charge of the whole house. Not only did life get better for Joseph, but God blessed Potiphar too. As long as Joseph was in charge, Potiphar didn't have to worry about a thing, except for the food that he ate. That's kind of like you getting a phone call from the president asking you to run the White House so that he could chill out and eat all the ice cream and pizza that he wanted. Pretty crazy, right? It's so easy to see how doing what's right to other people is exactly what God wants from us. Just like he rewarded Joseph with good things, there's good things he'll give us too. Even when we're doing something as small as feeding a Chinese water dragon, there's a reward. So remember, no matter what we're asked to do, God wants us to do what is right to others. The word justice is all over the Bible because God loves everyone and wants all the people he made to be treated right and fair. One place you'll find the word justice is in Micah 6.8, where it says, the Lord has shown you what is good. He has told you what he requires of you. You must act with justice. You must love to show mercy. And you must be humble as you live in the sight of your God. But what does it mean to act with justice? Let's take a minute to break it down. To act is to do something. It's the opposite of being lazy or ignoring what needs to be done. And justice is what's fair and right. So when you act with justice, you are doing something to make sure a situation is fair and being done the right way. In short, acting with justice is just doing what's right. Sometimes that's easier said than done. It may look like picking up a piece of trash that someone dropped on the ground. But other times, it might look like telling someone to stop when they are making fun of another person. Doing the right thing is what Micah 6.8 says that God requires of us as his followers. Because when we act with justice, we do what's right. Father God, thank you for loving us. We know that you want us to do the right thing even when no one but you can see it. But that is hard sometimes, and we need your help. Show us what the right thing is and help us to make the best choice. You are such a good father, and we love you. Amen. Thank you for taking the time to join us today for Life Kids for this incredible new series, Right On Time. We cannot wait until next week. Make sure that you tune in next weekend for another episode of Right On Time right here at Life Kids. We love you. Have a great week.